My name is Michael Bryan, and I am the proud owner-operator Top Banana of Close Pin Puppets. Close Pin Pub, it is a, uh, it's a little bitty theater company that I started with my daughter some 10, 12 years ago, uh, something like that, and it's just that, and we focus on promoting literacy, we focus on puppetry and storytelling, and it's just the two of us, that's all it is really. I'm Dr. Michael O'Brien, to those, uh, <laughs> to, 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 to the grand world, most people just call me Mike, and I am the head honcho. Um, top banana, creative genius, if you will, <laughs> behind clothespin puppets. Dead clothespin puppets. What we do is we travel all over Central Illinois and produce puppet shows for kids at schools, libraries, sometimes birthday parties. But they're all based on picture books. So my job is to put the whole thing together. I read a lot of kids' books. I pick the ones I like. I adapt them for the stage, I build the puppets, and then I hand the script over to my daughter, and she and I rehearse them, and then we present them. And then if they turn out decent, we keep presenting them. Some of them don't always turn out right, but, <laughs> but most of them have turned out quite well. The, I was working at the kids section at the bookstore, and I was responsible for doing a weekly story time for the bookstore. And I was into puppets, and I was you know, a theater major and all that good stuff. And I ran across a little book called Little P. And it would, it's an adorable book, I loved it. But I thought that would make a cute little show. So I did, and I made it. And it was just a fluke that I put those two together. Uh, this book and puppetry. And the first incarnation of Little P was tiny little like ping pong ball size peas. And we did it almost like we do it now, and then uh, it, it, but it was just uh, this one lucky little moment where I thought, what a great little book. Oh, what a great little book for puppets. So I adapted it to puppets and then I presented it at story time. Well, I've mentioned Little P. My favorite right now is there's a book called The Monster at the End of This Book. And it's a Sesame Street book with Grover. And if you don't know it, go pick it up. It's marvelous. And I first my dad gave me a copy of it when I was in first grade. I remember this distinctly. I'd, <laughs> I wound up in the hospital for some stupid, stupid reason. And I had to stay there overnight. But dad brought me this book to kind of uh, cheer me up. And it has been one of my favorites. So I do that one, not with a Grover puppet because I'm not allowed, but it's illegal. It's illegal, yeah, it's, it's copyright. But we created another monster puppet who is a big fan of Grover who likes to read the book to the kids, and it has become a huge success. I think one of the things that I've always strived for is the idea that we always want to show different kinds of puppets. Uh, when you say puppets or puppetry to most Americans, they're automatically going to go to um, the Muppets or ventriloquism, like Jeff Dunham kind of things. And some of the older folks will go Howdy Doody and Marionettes. Um, nothing wrong with any of those, but there are so many other forms of puppetry as well. Okay, uh, One of the things I've always wanted to do with the company is make sure that whatever we do, we show a variety of puppetry. So I do have a Muppet. We do have Marionettes. Uh, I don't do ventriloquism because I can't. But the style of puppetry is there, rod puppets, tabletop puppets, um, hand puppets, all sorts of things. Even so, even Boon Raku, right, exactly right. Uh, I want to show off as many different styles of puppetry with, uh, and as many different types of books as possible. So uh, what I want folks to get out of it is, yes, a variety of books, a variety of literature, but also a variety of performance styles uh, in terms of puppetry and storytelling.